For this video or this portion of our uh, restoration series on the 1969 Beetle, we're going to be replacing the intake manifold and the carburetor. Intake manifold we're replacing because previous owner did not have heat risers going down to the exhaust. Being a single carburetor, which is currently leaking, which is why we're replacing the carburetor, uh, single carburetor centered over the engine. When you have the air and fuel going down the exhaust port, they're going to actually start to freeze and stick to the walls, which can cause hesitation, bad fuel economy, etc., etc. So we're going to pull off this intake manifold, install a new manifold and a new carburetor, and that's going to be it for this video. All right, pull off the intake manifold. We're going to do a couple things here. Disconnect the spark plug wires so we can get to the intake manifold bolts at the head. We're going to loosen the intake manifold clamps on both sides. We're going to disconnect the manifold from the carburetor. We're going to disconnect the barrel nut. We'll disconnect the electrical connections from the choke and the idle solenoid. Take off the air cleaner, of course, and the fuel line. All right, now that we've got the new intake manifold slid in place, we've got the heat riser tubes inserted into the manifold, and we're going to go ahead and ready uh, to get all the six millimeter hardware lined up and uh, to bolt the heat risers down to the exhaust itself. All right, with the intake manifold loosely bolted up to the heat risers, we'll slide the new intake manifold boot Along with the original clamps, we got the original end castings, we got a new gasket at the head. Get everything set in place and loosely mocked up before we go through and start tightening down clamps, heat risers, and intake manifold bolts. All right, we got the intake manifold, end castings, and everything else installed and bolted down. Everything at the head's tight here, the clamps are tight, heat risers are tight on both sides. So at this point, we're ready to go ahead and install the carburetor. All right, so this is uh, MP's 34 Pick 3 replacement carburetor. We've been using these for quite some time now. We've been very happy with them. We've installed new studs, new gasket, and we're ready to install it. Just a matter of setting in place and installing the nuts. Barrel nut. We'll cap off the vacuum lines, hook up the fuel line and the idle and choke, and she will be ready to go. All right, with the last clamp on the fuel hose here, we've replaced the fuel hose. We have clamps at the carburetor, and we've replaced the fuel filter, clamps on both sides of that. We've got clamps at the fuel pump as well. From the factory, Volkswagen did not typically put clamps on the fuel pressure or the fuel lines. It's not a high pressure system, but I like to run clamps just for a little bit of safety. All right, now we are all done with the carburetor installation. We've got, of course, the carburetors on. We've got a new air cleaner on oil filler breather hose going from the breather port on the bottom of the air cleaner over to the oil filler. Spark plug wires are in place. Vacuum caps are on. Of course, the idle solenoid and the choker hooked up. The carburetor comes factory tuned and factory set, so there shouldn't be much adjustment needed out of the box. Uh, in another video later on, we will get to tuning and timing as well as we are probably going to change distributors, but that will be for another day.